Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and it's that time of the year again. There's a summer sale happening on the Indie Asset Store. This is always a great time to pick up any assets you've been looking for. There are so many awesome assets that are currently discounted. You've got 50% off on the top rated assets, and there's also flash deals up to 70% off. These flash deals only last for one day, so definitely go browse the list and see if anything interests you. Today is actually Wild Card Wednesday, so there's a bunch of random stuff on really deep discounts. For example, this giant bundle with lots of medieval environments, this one is currently 98% off, so for just 7 bucks you can get all kinds of environments. So if you want to make a medieval game, there you go, really great. If you want to make a military game and you like the low poly art style, then this Cinti Polygon military pack is currently on sale. Personally, I'm a big fan of Cinti assets and this military pack, this one is really great. It has tons of characters and lots of weapons. So any kind of shooting game you want to make, yep, this is a great one. Then here you've got a pack with 10,000 pixel items for literally just 55 cents. You've got a giant animation collection for just 50 bucks. If you don't have any animation pack, then this one would be great. So I definitely recommend you check out the link in the description to browse the flash sales. These change every single day, so definitely go ahead and see everything that is going to happen. You can already see the various themes. So you've got Mega Pack Monday, so this one has a ton of Mega Packs, some massive bundles. Then you've got Toolbox Tuesday. Personally, I think the best assets you can get are some tools, so this one is probably going to be awesome. So definitely check in next Tuesday. Then Wild Card Wednesday, lots of random stuff. Throwback Thursday, if you want to make some 8-bit pixel games. If you want to make some retro stuff, this is probably going to be great. Fantasy Friday, if you want to make any kind of fantasy game, like some kind of RPG. Surprise Saturday for a bunch of more random stuff, I'm guessing and Sci-Fi Sunday for all kinds of sci-fi stuff. So the flash deals are awesome, really deep discounts, but all of the top assets, those are also 50% off. These are also great deals. Basically everything that I covered in my asset review playlist, all of these I believe are on sale. For example, the Odin Inspector, this is a great tool for helping you build tools. In my asset review video, I talk about how you can get started using it very quickly. The all-in-one sprite shader is really excellent for polishing any kind of 2D sprites. If you have any 2D game, I highly recommend it. And definitely go ahead and watch this video to see how to use it. Rayfire helps you build some really impressive destruction. This kind of thing you can easily add to make your games feel quite a bit more polished, quite a bit more lived in. In my asset review video, I quickly made a scene and turned it from pretty boring to pretty awesome thanks to using this. I mean, adding destruction does make quite a massive difference. Another one I really recommend is Feel. So this is an excellent tool for helping you polish your games. And polish is an absolutely crucial part of the game dev process. Polish is where you take games from good to awesome. And this tool helps you make that quite a bit more easily. In my own asset, the Code Monkey Toolkit, this one is also 50% off. It's a collection with tons of tools to help you make games better and faster. So if you want to improve your own productivity, your own efficiency, then I really recommend my own asset. Obviously I'm biased, but I've been using these tools myself for many, many years. This is really just putting all of the utilities that I've made in just one package. So yep, I'm really happy with how this one came out. I use these tools all the time. So even though I'm biased, I still definitely very much recommend them. Then there's also tons of awesome tools that I haven't actually used myself, but I've heard they are very good. For example, the Hot Reload. If you have issues with compilation time, then this tool seems to be awesome. It's got 200 five-star reviews. So even though personally I haven't tried it, I believe this one is excellent. Bakery is another really awesome one that helps you bake lighting. So if you want to have super high quality lighting in your games, and lighting is one of those things that can make your game go from great to really awesome. And if you want to do that, if you want some high quality lighting, then baking it like this will definitely be the way to go. If you've ever bought some humble bundles that have some unreal stuff, if so, then this tool can be really helpful. This one's actually on a flash deal, 70% off for just one day. So if you've got some of those bundles that you got some Unreal projects, you can use this tool to convert those Unreal projects into Unity. Quibbly is also 50% off. This is the shader that I use in my game, Think Guardians, to make it look really nice and stylized. Personally, I really like this look, so if you want to make stylized games, then this would be a great purchase. Painting 3D is a great tool if you want to basically paint directly on your shapes. So there's all kinds of really interesting games you could make with this, all kinds of simulated games, which is a very hot genre on Steam. If you want to just create some shapes dynamically in real time in a very fast way, then Shapes is a great package. Umotion is an excellent tool if you want to handle animations directly inside Unity. In case you don't know, inside Unity you cannot directly modify humanoid animations, but with this tool you can. So I've used this one several times anytime I need to make a simple animation or just make a simple modification. I think this is definitely a must-have tool. Colorize Pro is also another very interesting tool. You can take the exact same scene, modify all kinds of colors, and make that same scene look very, very different. You can definitely take something that looks pretty boring, pretty basic, or pretty, let's say, asset-like, and make it look very, very unique. The text animator, this one is another must-have. I've used it in my game, Think Gardens. It is a really great way to add some life to your text. So if your game is very text-heavy, then this will definitely help polish it up to the next level. If you want to easily do some level design, then using physics is a great way to make things look quite a bit more natural, and this tool helps you do that. Basically, you can move around things in scene view, and then drop them, and they fall down along with gravity. Or if you've got all sorts of weird non-humanoid creatures, then the panel animator can help those look quite a bit more natural. And of course, on the page itself, you can also browse all the things that are going to be on sale in the future. So if you scroll down, you start to see things. For example, the top-down engine, this one is going to be on sale in one day. If you want to make top-down games, then this one is really great. Then Volumetric Lights 2, this one also starts in one day. Volumetric Lights, in case you don't know, is how you actually give a shape to your own lights. So if you want to make your games look quite a bit better, then adding this is going to be awesome. 
generates all those god rays that look absolutely beautiful. Then a few more days, you've got the all-in-one 3D shader, also great. You've got some nice Tune Pro shaders. You can get some nice environments. You can get all kinds of customizable people. There's various cities, space combat, all kinds of stuff. See if there's tons and tons of stuff on sale right now. All kinds of awesome tools and assets help you make games better and faster. Check out everything on sale with the link in the description. Those are film links, so if you pick up anything through there, you get some real nice assets and I get a nice commission. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.